Head Transplant Progress Update video, week 16. Hey guys, welcome to this week 16 Head Transplant Progress Update video. It has been 113 odd days uh, since my hair transplant. Over the past week, things have been progressing and looking a lot better. Um, I, I really cannot believe now looking in the mirror and stuff, um, how far it has come since sort of like, you know, day one after the transplant, first month after the transplant. So now it's coming close to month four. So uh, I think now is what the 13th of February. So I've got another 10 days until the end of this month. Um, and yeah, it's looking really good. And I know it's only middle of third month and they say the fourth month and fifth month are really when it all start, begins. And during the third month, we only normally see about you know 10 to 20 percent of the density that you will get as a result. So if this is 10 to 20 percent, I am super happy with it. You know, if I could double this in the next couple of months, that would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is all looking really good. If I just come in a little bit closer, so you can see. Here, and as I always mention, my hair is naturally quite thin and light, so it maybe it's not. It's a bit early days for me to get out the big comb and brush it back and say, "Look at all the progress." But it, to me, it is getting better, and I'm happy with it. If I just spin to the side quickly, show you my donor area. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. I, I really want to go actually to the hairdressers and just get this all shaved back. Um, and perhaps I will do during this week. I don't think I'm gonna cut it myself anymore because I want to um, make it look a little bit better now that I've got a bit more growth on the top. Um, but yeah, things have been looking really good. So this week I wanted to talk to you guys about um, sleeping after your hair transplant. For those of you who are about to go in for a transplant or have just come out of a transplant, um, and are worried about sleeping. So you really don't need to be worried. And sleep is one of the hardest things after the transplant. And I've got to say, I had at least, you know, three nights where I couldn't sleep almost at all because I was so worried about my transplanted area touching the pillow or messing something up. But what that taught me at the end is you really don't need to worry about these things. None of this is gonna happen. One thing you do want to bear in mind though, if you are recovering from a hair transplant in these early stages, drink loads of water, just drink loads and loads and loads. Have like a two liter water bottle next to you at all times and just keep drinking. Um, you are gonna end up running to the bathroom every five minutes, but it's really good for you. Just cleanse your system and get as much water into you as possible. But yeah, hydration and sleep are the two main things when you're recovering. Yeah, get plenty of rest, don't stress about it, and get plenty of water for you. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Um, about sleeping. So when you're sleeping for the, uh, you know, the first few nights after your transplant, you've got to stay on your back. What you need to do um, after the transplant for the first few days when you're sleeping, you're going to have to sleep on your back and you're going to have to try to um, keep sort of slightly upright so that your head doesn't tilt back so you don't get any swelling on your head, on your face. Um, and also, you don't want to be turning sideways. It's not going to kill you. Yeah, so if you, are, if you wake up and you've turned slightly sideways, don't stress about it, it's just normal, right? But try to stay flat on your back. Um, I know for most of us, that's an uncomfortable position. For me, that was a really tough thing because I hate sleeping flat on my back, but it was just something that I had to bear with for, you know, five days after the transplant. So if you have come out of a transplant, you'll probably got one of these, yeah? And when you sleep, you're just gonna wear it around your neck. If you don't have one of these and they didn't give you one of these, I would go out and get one, but um, you can get away with just rolling up a towel and putting that underneath your neck. So just a quick, quick example, of course, get a bigger towel, get like a bath towel so that you roll up and the roll is bigger. But if you roll up a towel and you place it like this behind your neck when you sleep, just so your, your head does not tilt back, yeah? But I'd go with one of these, it's so much easier, it's secure, it stays around your neck, it's not gonna fall off, it's not gonna you know, cause any problems. Um, also, the other thing I did uh, when I slept is I built like a ramp out of my pillows. So 
Let me give you an example. Yeah. So I, I literally built a ramp like this out of my pillow. So when I slept, my head was here. Yeah. And obviously it would not dip back and hit that pillow there. So just stay here. And the top of the head is, is clear. So let me give you a live example. So it's a lot easier to see from side on. If I'm lying down like this and my transplant area is here, as for most of those guys will be, or even your crown here. I guess it may be a bit more worrying if it's a crown, but if your transplant area is up here, there's no chance in hell that this is gonna touch this pillow or this pillow, right? You are lying here. So as long as you've got one of these, I know it feels like it's going to touch and rub on the pillow, it is not. So you've got nothing to worry about. As long as you've got your pillow here, it's supporting your neck, you're not, you know, your head is not tilting back like this, yeah, your head is straight, yeah, that's fine. And you, you are just gonna have to get used to sleeping like this for, you know. So, take this thing off. You are gonna have to get used to sleeping like that for, you know, a good five nights. After night five, I think if I remember correctly, they said you could start sleeping on your side and then it just goes back to normal. Bear in mind, after 10 days, everything will be healed and you're gonna wash all the scab out and you, you, you're not gonna have anything to worry about. Uh, I did absolutely hate this thing after um, my transplant because the thing is, it will get soaked up with all the liquid coming out from the um, donor area and it was just nasty. So I don't know why I kept it. <laughs> I kept it as a reminder of how uh, tough the you know first few days after transplant can be. But yeah, just bear with it. Five days go quickly. You know, look at me, it's been sort of three and a half, almost four months now and things are just getting easier and easier. And the second thing I wanna talk about is recovery in general. So the most important thing after your hair transplant is to get plenty of rest. Bear in mind, you did just have a surgery. It is not a, you know, a quick haircut or, you know, a beauty treatment. It is proper, proper surgery on your head. So you are taking, or you should be taking medicines, you know, like antibiotics to stop infections anti-inflammatories, painkillers, yeah, all this stuff is, you know, in your system and is not particularly good for you. So make sure that you drink plenty of water to cleanse and cleanse your system, make sure you stay hydrated um, and make sure you get plenty of rest. Do not stress about, you know, your touching your donor area or anything is not gonna kill you if you accidentally rub your head on your pillow. Um, as long as you're not rubbing your head with the sandpaper or rubbing your head against the wall, it's gonna be fine. Um, just main thing is don't stress, get plenty of rest and drink plenty of um, water. Take your multivitamins or whatever supplements your doctor prescribed you and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, but that's pretty much it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the content. If you haven't done so already, uh, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Um, and enable the bell notifications, that way you won't miss out on any uh, future content that I post. I'll post another video next week just to show you guys how far I've got. I think I am gonna go for a haircut, as I said, just, just to get the sides shaved, and also give me a better view of my um, donor area to see what it looks like on, you know, sort of end of month three. Um, but yeah, uh, if you did like this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, use the comment, comment box at the bottom if you want me to cover any topics or talk about anything specific in my next video, please use the comment, bo uh, comment boxes and I'll do my best to help you and answer your questions. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.